So I want to show you guys how to use the simulation this week where you're going to be modeling um, plate motion. You're going to be looking at different types of plate boundaries. So the first thing you'll see is there's you're going to pick a direction for plate one to move. So this is plate one. This is plate two. And you can see there's three arrows for you to choose. So if you choose this arrow, the arrow on the other side lights up. So that means that the two plates are moving apart from each other. So now you're going to click see plates over time. So this is telling us this is a divergent boundary when these two plates are moving apart from each other. You have a legend over here. So you can see that this light grayish, brownish, greenish color is continental lithosphere right here. Um, oceanic lithosphere. We don't have any in this picture. We're just looking at um, continental plates. If we see this, it'd be melting rock. These arrows are mantle convection. And then this red part is the mantle. As we move these plates apart from each other, you should see some of these features. Earthquakes, mountains, volcanoes, underwater volcanoes, rivers, and abandoned riverbeds. So what you're going to do is you're going to click pick time. And you're going to choose time for this to run. So maybe you pick 10 years and then you click run. Okay, not much happened. So maybe we'll play around and pick a million years. See what happens. So you can see there's earthquakes popping up. That's what these little symbols are. So I'm going to run that one more time on a million years. So you're seeing there's earthquakes. And then we're starting to see this, this ridge form. And something's going on here. If I wanted to see more about what was happening, I could pick a longer time. I really want you guys to experiment with what are you seeing as you increase the time on here. So here's 5 million years. So this is, we have our mantle convection. We can see that. This is starting to break apart a little bit. We're still seeing lots of earthquakes. Okay. And then we have a little riverbed. And in order for you to see what happens if we do even longer, I want you to do the simulation yourself. So let's go home. And then you would pick a different arrow. You could see different plate boundary. Same kind of thing. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go back. Oops. Um, each of these have an extension. Um, if you're in high cap, I really do want you to take a look at the extensions. Otherwise, it's going to be optional. So I want you to do each of these three simulations when you have the plates moving apart from each other, plates moving together, and plates moving sort of side to side against each other. I want you to do all of them and play with the time scales on there. And then go ahead and answer the questions on your Google form. Let's click on bent plate so you can see here. So this is what it's going to be with the bent plate boundaries. You're either going to have them, the, we saw on the picture that these faults aren't always straight. So how does this look on a part of a plate boundary where it's not a straight line and you have some curve to it? That's what you can do here with the um, bent plate boundary extension. So that's your simulation this week. Let us know what questions you have.